but the series was definitely trash. Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. If you're new, please. We love to have you here all the time. So subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can find every time I post and post videos every once in a while. <laughs> so today we are talking about the new Fifty Shades series, <laughs> what you call sex slash life. I hope YouTube doesn't flag this because anyway, we are talking about coital slash life, <laughs> sex slash life. This is a Netflix series that is that was inspired by the book Forty Four Chapters About Four Men, written by Eston. And Stacy was like, "No, Eston, it is a pandemic. Why don't you come and give this people some test of live porn?" <laughs> Honestly, I think Netflix sat down and were like, okay, so how many quite a scenes can we fit in one episode? And the result was like, not enough. <laughs> not enough. The number cannot be enough because honestly, honestly. Anyway, so what is sex life? This is a series that rolls around a married woman thinking about her past with all with how her life was in the past how her life was in the young age before she got married that is Billy Billy Connolly Billy Connolly whatever so she was uh, the other girl you they warn you about your parents warn you about don't be friends with that she's a bad influence <laughs> I guess that's an exaggeration because she was she was studying hard she had, she's a well she has a best friend Sasha they do everything together they just study they study together they pass together Sasha is currently a PhD owner she's a professor she is but we're not talking about Sasha <laughs> I mean focus is on Billy so uh, she thinks about how her life is to be versus how her life is right now in her marriage she's married to a banker an economist something like that the guy of her dreams gives her the attention had the money had the love had the care had everything but when she has two kids she's let become stuck and <laughs> maybe it is a uh, some form of postpartum but she thinks about how she is not satisfied in the marriage because she's not getting enough sex she's not she is not and she needs it <laughs> so her life in the past was around hanging out living and apologetically where she had a boyfriend Bill Bradley who later chucked her and so she got married, went to the, shifted from the city, went back to the village, to the countryside, got married, raised kids. And life has become hard. She cannot handle, she cannot sit in a marriage and everything is the same. No sex. Even when they try to have some. The husband is just looking at the play, looking at the TV. Is this prompted her to write in her journal about her days, her life days before the marriage. About her life days before the marriage, describing each and every scene of the encounters she had with her ex, Bradley, charming, looking, Bradley, rich, everything that you would need. All their coital encounters <laughs> describing them bit by bit this is when the husband lands on it and yeah he's disturbed he wants to fail in the image that the wife wants oh good 
I don't know. How psychotic is that? Okay, yes, you might. You might fail. Maybe you can learn what she wants, what your wife wants. But he really took it to another level and spoiled everything. If you've not watched the series, I know, I know you've watched it. If you've not watched it, I don't know what you're watching because this is like the epitome of Netflix. This is the real deal of Netflix. It is, you know, the new Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> the new Fifty Shades of Grey has all the quieto encounters, <laughs> all the quieto things. Yeah. I think the minimum of criticisms in an episode are like 10. <laughs> Netflix really did it. They did it to us. They really wanted you to have it. But anyways, what are the lessons from this series? Honestly, I feel like I didn't prove anything. <laughs> so I watched the series a long time ago but didn't talk about it. And when I was talking to a friend... Who watched it he told me he really hated that he wishes someone had told him before he watched it because he wouldn't have watched it so if you've not watched spread a lot after after all the control that Billy went through after everything trying not to get back to Brad <laughs> at the end of that series she went and that's why, that's why he said, what was the aim of all the eight damn episodes? Like, there is no reason that we watched the episodes because everything was about control, how Billy really wanted to save her marriage, even when she couldn't get the other 15% of the life that she wants, which is the future. <laughs> mm -hmm. But later on, and she went. She gave up on the control that she had grasped. <laughs> that is when he said that the, if it was an, a class, you could even just watch the first episode and get an A. Like, you cheat. The whole aim was not cheating, but if the overall, it ended in cheating, so... We could have just watched one episode and we go and cheat <laughs> and we end the series. Like that was no damn point. You get. That was no point. I don't even want to watch another episode of it, another season of it, if at all it comes out. I'm not watching it. <laughs> like why? Why? First of all, the issue was the money. That Bradley had a lot of money. Cooper also had a lot of money, so the choice was between Koito <laughs> or happiness, <laughs> but happiness is tied to Koito, and at the same time tied to family, and kids, and husband. <sighs> it even pains me, it pains my brain to think about it. Marriage is hard. Live your life before you get married. <laughs> but anyways, build a little life. But I don't know. I don't even know. I cannot. Like, I do not know. But the series was definitely trash. Anyway, I recommend you to watch it. <laughs> because it has steamy sounds. Also, the kind of house parties made me think that have been attending the wrong house parties. I have been attending the wrong house parties. I need such kinds of house parties. <laughs> I need such kinds of house parties. <laughs> because team. Team. But uh, you, you, this guy, Netflix really took it to the next level with it. This wasn't supposed to be. I don't know even how I can put it, but it should have been a paid series. <laughs> like, you pay to watch it because this is... It's like, what can you have? 
Oh my goodness. Anyways, let me know what you what your opinions are about the series. If you've watched it, if you've not watched it, please watch it. <laughs> please watch it. But what question? Are you really looking forward to the season two? Which I'm sure it's going to come because the way it has been doing, the way it is the talk of everything, I'm so sure they are looking forward to making a season two. I don't know about the book, whether it has like volumes, but if a chapter is about for me, uh, if it doesn't have, maybe they'll try something around it, but I'm so sure they're giving us another season. They cannot let this film go to rest, but I would not want to watch another season. I actually do not want. <laughs> Anyways, that is my opinion. Um, please subscribe, like this video. And see the next one. Bye.